I've just stood here at my front door looking up at the road there. Lovely red sky tonight, so fingers crossed it will be a nice day again tomorrow and I'll be able to get my grass cut. But we'll just say hello to Dave. There is obviously a car parked outside here tonight. Yeah, so there is there is a car parked outside here tonight, so it does put the foxes off a little bit anyway. We'll see who turns up first. My bet is Jimmy. I was right, Jimmy is first. Come on then, mate. you got a nice new plate as well tonight. You have. There we go. You've got a nice plate. New one, it's yellow. Jim Jim. You alright mate? You had a good day? You're more interested in the food, aren't you? You don't really want to talk. Fair enough. Fair enough. You can hear Carol chatting in there to Kenny. Since we move rooms, we hear her a lot. She's quite loud when she talks. She is. Well done, mate. You're eating the chicken as well. Proud of you. Anyway, the cubs are settled in the crate again at the moment. The Magoo is really lively tonight, which is lovely to see. You're done. Here then, come here, Jim, that's me, Jimmy, that's me, one and two, okay, okay, Jim, two enough mate, well done, you haven't got that in your mouth properly, whatever that was under his chin, doesn't seem to be too bad actually, it looks alright. Even the scab's gone, that's it, cock your leg again. Are you waiting for another one? Are you? Come on then. Because you're not stupid. Oh yeah. Right, see you later. Okay, can't follow him up the road as there is a car there. Right, let's see who turns up next, or will it be Jimmy again? So I've just come in, um, inside from being outside with Jimmy, and Simon is slept on, slept, is sleeping on top of the teddy at the back there. Magoo is at the front here, but he has been very lively tonight, which is brilliant to see. He's been climbing on and off this box, and as I walked in here, he was, no, he's doing it again. So it's like he's got a bit of mojo back now, which is brilliant so fingers crossed we're on the right track with him oh, i hope so bless his heart just outside trying to get norman to come in because he's been in and out like a blinking yo-yo and who's arrived again you got it in one oh, jimbo you all right mate you okay yeah it does look like a bit of a puncture wound actually under his neck but it's looking okay. It's dry. Doesn't look infected or anything. Right, see you later. I've just put some more food in there for them and they're both tucking in. So it's just nice to see Magoo eating as much as he has this evening. And then Greedy Guts there, Simon. But they are growing, so... Eat as much as they like. Oh, now Magoo's going to have a little drink. <laughs> Simon's got his backside on Magoo's back. It's like he tries to protect his food. Magoo still hasn't quite mastered drinking the water properly yet. It tends to go up his nose as well. But that's quite common. A lot of them are doing that because I was talking with Steve earlier about it. And it is quite a common thing. But Simon has definitely mastered lapping water. So yeah, it's great that they're both drinking. 
great that they are both eating. Even though Magoo hasn't eaten loads the last few days, today he's certainly made up for it. No doubt about that one. Simon's now gone back to cuddle the teddy and Magoo's up on the box again, but he's going to end up falling off of it. Look, <laughs> bless his heart. Maybe I'll turn it round the other way. It might be easier for him. Oh, you can't lay there, silly boy. He laid on the food bowl. Honestly, he gets covered in everything. So I'm having to give him a wash most days. Bless his heart. Okay, there we go. Simon and Magoo. They're going to settle down for the night in a minute. And then maybe I can just chill a little bit. Okay, so look who's back. I've seen you. You've come back and you've taken all the dog treats, haven't you? I know. Here we go. One and two. Well done, mate. All right, see you later. So I know you'll be back. How many times is this now, huh? How many? You're going to wear your legs right out. Come on. One. And two. Okay. Jim. See you later. You've stopped them because Kenny is over the road behind that white car. And he saw him. It's Pip. Come on then, mate. Come on then, my boy, here. Good boy. Aren't you? You're a good boy. It's lovely to see you again. Get a bit used to me now, aren't you? Yeah? Are you getting used to me? Are you? Have you been to the hairdressers again today? Because it looks like it. Doesn't it? Hey? Does it? Wash and blow dry, maybe? Do you want some chicken? Do you want one of these? Been putting, I'm putting the food out on the plate at the moment now because obviously flies there were a few buzzing around this morning so I need to give this garden a good clean again and then everything will have to go in bowls or plates. Hello, who's coming? Who is it? What's going on? Huh? Is that cookie? Is it cookie? Oi, cookie. It's got to be you, hasn't it? What's all the noise? Oi, stop. No. No. I know it's only what you've... Oi! No! Stop! Stop it! Stop! What do you do as you're told? Huh? Pip's just up there. Come on. Quick, come and get some food. And then you can go. Making all that noise. Come here. Yeah. Cookie. Cookie. Yeah. Come on, mate. 
Yeah. Are you a good boy? Are you? Are you a good boy? You hungry? Yeah? Yeah. Slow down. Don't want you choking now, do we? Mate, slow down. Yeah, do you want this one? Is that enough? Is that enough? Or do you want another one? No, he says I'll go. Just wait and now see if Pip chases after him. No. Okay, happy days. There won't be any screeching for a little while then. <laughs> 